Healthy Bowl is a restaurant that, which is a unique restaurant actually started with lots of dreams onto it. Well, uh, basically all I wanted is to keep your day-to-day -day basic food or your day-to-day -day food in the most healthiest way possible. So that's what we do. We cater all taste buds. First thing first, when it comes to safety, that's number one priority to me personally. I've been a very active person outside, uh, being an outdoor person, working with the community, a lot of personal works. I mean, like I, I do a lot of passionate works to the community. First thing first, as I said, we adhere the utmost safety uh, measurements that was advised to us by all the public authorities or the government and whatever they wanted us to do. On top of that, like we make sure that this place is safer for dining as well as for all takeaway customers that, that who walks into Healthy Boat. So uh, we went on an extra mile by doing a very deep, by hiring a lot of professionals uh, in the pest control industry as well as a, a cleaning crew that came who are professionals who did a, a deep clean when the, the place was uh, reopened after the second wave COVID hit. We also have fixed the uh, hand washing uh, basins, you know, to make sure that everybody who enters this place has always comes with a clean hand and that. There are also uh, certain other touch points that is inside that's been installed to wash their hands regularly as well as all our staffs have been advised to sanitize their hands every other five minutes and especially the cashier who handles money all the time. So every transaction he has been sanitized and we do it as a daily practice to make sure that you know all hygiene practices as well as all COVID safety measures are being taken place properly and I ensure that it happens every day here. This is actually a tough question. Because anyway, the first vision was to start a restaurant for me. So that was the whole vision or the mission or whatever my dream was. When I started it, then, then okay, wow, great, it started. But now the next point is to start a place of my own with, uh, with dining, you know, because initially Healthy Ball was started at MC Food Court. So I wanted to have my own dining. And uh, so that was the, I would say that was the vision at that point. And then now, with God's grace, it's been achieved. In my point of view, uh, as being an entrepreneur or being a person, like I would say visions always change based on the company's growth. So currently, this is a very small startup with a very few staff that is working as a family, I would say, rather than I, I can't even address them as a staff, like, they're like my family. So my vision right now from here onwards is to make this place uh, a really sustainable environment uh, I would say like a more eco-friendly environment and that's the mission that I have. Apart from that, what I want to give back to the country is that to uh, make healthy bowl as much as local as possible. Whereas when I say when it's local, like all the producers and all the ingredients are to be local, packaging and all that equipment that we are using has to be local. Currently, it's not, but then that's the vision that I have on top of my mind. And apart from that, there's a lot and uh, all of those dreams will turn into vision eventually and uh, yeah so for now let's try to be as local as possible sourcing the finance was a huge huge task uh, i would say like that was the most most toughest thing i have ever done in my life uh, i would say so all i had was like a dream of this whole project where I didn't even have put it down on a paper. I just had a dream and then I so badly wanted to do something of my own and then what I'm so passionate about. And uh, the first thing that came up in my mind is food. So that's how the whole idea of Healthy Bowl was born. And then I have been a marketer for so long and then all I know is how to spend money rather than, you know, uh, <laughs> well, that was I was good at. And but uh, when it comes to your own, it, it's a it's a really tough call, and then there's a lot of lot of work that you need to put into it. And then I managed to grab all my knowledge and then worked it out. And I think I made the right pitch, and uh, with God grace, I won it. But uh, what I would say is like if you put your your own, uh, like let's say you put your hundred percent, and you're when you're really passionate about something, I think it's really achievable. And uh, that's how I managed to, you know, source the finance, and then. Then unfortunately with the COVID, everything went on to 
like everything was over it, it came to a point where everything was over well since healthy ball was open for about 2 months and then closed down for about 3 3 more than 3 months and when we were back on operation it was nothing was the same after that strategies change everything change and then i that there was a point where there was no more healthy ball and that's when i uh, actually found my uh, financer who actually saw the potential of the the business and who understood me and uh, i wouldn't even say he is my financer i would like like to address him as my brother which would be more appropriate even though he <laughs> he is from another mother well uh, he saw the potential uh, and he saw what sort of uh, a thing that healthy ball can grow into been uh, because there's a lot of lot of uh, food outlets here there are amazing food outlets here in sri lanka in colombo and there are like amazing amazing food tasty food then so uh, what what makes you unique and it's it's your idea and your passion that you put into which they saw i think i was able to source my finance i think currently sri lanka is already doing it and uh, for example places like hatch you know they they are doing a lot of things collectively uh, for entrepreneurs and for this this whole trend of uh, entrepreneurship and this uh, ideas and new 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 thing to come out in the country and then uh, all that i would ask someone to do is never discourage a person who is there with dreams and uh, if he fails it's always a lesson so yeah it's currently happening and i think uh, that's what uh, we need to do as entrepreneurs and never never break a person's dream guys what is there for me to say is never give up on your dreams when you dream of something and when you put your 100% and you are passionate about what you are trying to do i think anything is achievable don't worry about failing don't worry about your mistakes because uh, we all did we all did i did i healthy ball currently is one year old and we've only like operating for about 6 months and the rest of the 6 months it was closed due to covid but still i'm standing in front of you guys never give up on your dreams that's all i have to say like you know put your 100% passion and be really honest to yourself whether this is the right thing that you're doing and that's how passions and that's how ideas are born and then go search about it go study about it do a lot of researches never worry about failing again never worry about failing you know all you need to do is uh, just move on every day and you know there's one day that definitely you're going to achieve your dreams and it is possible when you're pa- really passionate about it and when you put your 100% honesty and your and your self respect and every everything it's a mix of everything that you need to put together to go on this and again if you are failing if you fail if you lose something don't worry about it because it's an experience and it's a learning that you did use that use that pain use use whatever you lose you know never do that mistake again and you know just go on and move on and that's all i need to say for anybody who out there with an idea just don't be afraid and don't think that i can't do it i don't have the money or i don't i don't have the time or anything like that because if you really work towards it there's some way or some door is going to open that's the only piece of advice i have to give you guys